Hello children, இன்னிக்கு நம்ப என்ன பார்க்கப் போரும் அப்படின்னா 7th standard term 3 sciencele first lesson light இதுதான் நமக்கு இருக்கு light நான் என்ன? வெளிச்சம் நோன்னு ஒளி 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 அப்படின் சொல்வான்ன okay வா? சரி அடுத்தது இங்கே பாரு இங்கே ஒரு man observer he is looking a tree okay இந்த cool air normal air or cool air அப்படின்னா it will be shown straight if the warm air warm வந்து air வந்து சூடாயிருந்துனா it will be bend அப்படி bend ஆயி தெரியும் சரியா so this is mirage mirage நான் air சூடாயிருந்துனா இந்த இங்க இருக்கிறது தலக்கில இருக்கிற மாறி தெரியும் ஆனா உண்மையில் அப்படி கடையாது but இது பக்கத்தில் இருந்த தெரியாது ரம்பதுவரத்தில் இருந்து பார்த்தான் கானல் நீர் கானல் நீர் கானல் நீர் அப்படின்ன அம்ப சொல்லும் okay இந்த lessonல நாம் என்னன பார்க்கப் போரும் to understand the light is an energy differentiate natural and artificial light sources understand rectilinear propagation of light understand formation of shadows no reflection of light and its types no law of reflection understand the properties of the image formed in a plane mirror plane mirror plane mirror flat on a mirror without any bend understand dispersion and spectrum understand synthesis of colors okay first let us see an introduction when you enter into the dark room nothing is visible the moment you switch on the light Everything in the room becomes visible. How do we see that three things in that eyes? When you look at this book, the light falls on the book is reflected and enters in your eyes. One na ik irtan room kulla pogum borude. Ona ke eppri teriyam. Ora ne vedu me teriya dilia. Ora ne nambe na pondro. We are switching on the light. Okay. How do you see the book or, or any ob, any part, any object that is, the light is Do reflecting on the object, object and it is, uh, light is falling on the object and reflecting to the eyes. eyes. Okay, wa? so that we can see. Light is a type of energy that helps us to see all the things around us. What it says? Light is a, light is a type of energy. Is type of energy that, that helps to see that helps to see all the things around us all, all the, the things, things around, around us. us light can be detected by human eye kandupidikka mudiyum kannala paarka mudiyum light can be detected <laughs> by human eye can you detect air no. through your human eye no, no. we have to use other senses other senses okay we can use eye for mm. see okay mm. we all know that light is essential for vision correct yeah. it is essential for vision vision and for way for way for way let us see more about light in this chapter light is the only source of energy for plants okay in the plant la eppadi saapidudhu that is adukku oru concept irukku illaya how you see so they entirely depend on light people and animal derive energy from carbohydrates protein and fat through their food correct ah animals enna na people and animals edha edha energy எடுக்கிறாங்க carbohydrates protein and fat இதுதானே உங்களுக்கு through their food அப்படி தானே வருது plants produce food using energy from sun by sun sunlight carbon dioxide and water by the process called photosynthesis எந்த process மூலமா உங்களுக்கு வருது photosynthesis Synthesis, photosynthesis அப்படியுங்க process முலமா, plants produce food, correct? What are all the things? Sunlight, carbon dioxide and water. With these three things, plants produce 
photosynthesis. Plants produce food. Food. That process is called photosynthesis. photosynthesis. Okay. Oh. Right. Then sources of light. Usually there are two sources. One is natural. Second one is artificial. Mm -hmm. You see. Objects which are able to emit light. Emit light na na. Emit na na. Oli ra kudiya. Veli atra kudiya. Na the? Veli atra. Veli atra. Kudiya. Kudiya. Abna emitting. Oli ke veli oli 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 veli atra kudiya. Na emitting light. Sirya? Or known as the light sources. Engirindi light varda. Na light source. Engirindi veli cham varda. Adida. Light source in Solvana. Okay. Light rays can come from different sources. There are two types of light sources. One is natural, one second one is artificial. artificial. Okay. Sorry. Natural and artificial and papa. First natural source of light. Sources which emits light naturally. That is called that is called a natural source of light. Yede the Tana Kuduko Sun Namakatirinji Sun and some stars. Okay, you see, the sun is the primary and major source of light. Natural light. Okay. Stars also produce the light. Stars also produce the light in the same way as sun do. Sun Madri is a star so Sun is also a star then. It is also a type of star. Okay. So stars are far away. See, however, they are much farther away from the sun. The light from them are too weak. Sun and the Pakatalerka, stars la Rombadura Talerka Vanala, Adilind Vara Kudya Oliana, Namluk Vika Terid. In the sun aloku brighter, Irikarvilla. Yeah. Okay. The moon also provides light, particularly in the night. Moon provides light in the night. Some living organisms organisms have the ability to produce light named bioluminescence. Another bioluminescence. Bioluminescence abdina where we roda irka kudiyadi. We roda irka kudiyadi na na people, animal, plants. Bioluminescence. It is the effect of certain chemical reaction occurring in the organism. Fireflies, jellyfish, glow warm, certain deep sea plants, etc. Or microorganisms can emit light naturally. Then artificial source of light and naturally Manasang and Buddhism artificial source of light. You see, apart from natural sources, light can be can also be produced artificially. The different light sources that are able to produce light artificially can be put under three broad categories. Okay, wa? artificial light moon three broad category what are they? They are artificial. the artificial light source of a man made man made light sources such as flame of candle, mm. incandescent lamp, neon lamp, sodium lamp. Sir, yeah. Okay. Mm. We will see this. Do you know? We will it see. is moon and is the moon a luminous object? Moon Volira Kudya Purula. No. No. Because it gets light from the sun. And gives it to the earth. It is not glowing automatically. It gets from the sun in the night and throws to the earth. Good. The moon provides light as well, but it cannot produce light by its own. The light emitted by the moon is the light of the sun reflected towards the earth. Correct, Dana? It is reflecting to the earth. When we see the moon, we see only moon's light up, lighted path. Mm -hmm. Thus, half of the moon is always facing the sun mm -hmm. and receiving the light from it. Hence, we receive light from the moon. Mm -hmm. Okay, half of part trickle, that part only you are seeing. Charya. Right. Now, we will see the different types of 
uh, <coughs> things, light sources, artificial light sources. Artificial. Incandescent source, mm. when certain objects are heated for high temperature, they begin to emit light. Example, mm. when you are heating a iron, iron rod, is a kind, is a kind of, of incandescent light. light. What do you mean by this? When you are heating mm. certain objects to high temperature, mm. okay, wow. mm. that time here objects on the high temperature can be heat panna, mm. that will emit the mm. light. Mm. Example, now we put hot iron rod. Okay, wow. hot iron rod. Hot iron rod. Is example of incandescent light. Mm. Another one is candle, candle incandescent lamp. Mm. Sorry. Then gas discharge sources passing electricity through certain gases at a very low pressure can produce light. Okay, wow. See, you take a tube light, there are there is some gas inside the tube light. The tube light you are seeing, you know, there is some gas. Suppose if you are sending electricity through that gas at very low temperature, that will glow. That is how tube light is glowing. Okay. Example, neon lamp and sodium lamp. Neon lamp and sodium, sodium lamp. lamp. See, this is a tube light example. Mm. Okay. See, we often use a kind of gas discharge lamp that uses fluorescence to produce visible light. The electric current in the gas exits mercury vapor, which produces short wave ultraviolet light that then causes a phosphor coating on the inside of the lamp to glow on the visible light. You see, you have a tube light, inside the tube light you have phosphor coating. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, when gas reacts, heated gas reacts with the mm -hmm. phosphor coating and it starts glowing. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is how this tube light is glowing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, we have properties of light. Every light has not every light, the light has a property, mm. several properties. Okay, you mm. see what are they? Mm. This action we shall examine some properties of light. Light has some fundamental properties. Mm. First point, rectilinear propagation of light. Mm. Rectilinear oh, propagation of light, which light. means it will go only straight line. Straight line. Second reflection. one is reflection. When light falls on an object, it will definitely reflect. Mm. That is why you can see Reflect the objects, object. correct? Yeah. If the right light is not reflecting, you cannot see the object. Okay. Speed. Then it has enormous speed of travel. Mm. Then interaction of light with matter. Mm. Matter means things, normal mm -hmm. things. Mm. How it is interacting? Okay. Types of material according to permeability. Types of material. Mm -hmm according to permeability. Permeability means permissibility. Okay. Then formation of shadows, plane, mirror and images. Plane means flat, neat, flat mirror. Okay. Then we have spectrum. Nirapirigai. You know that sunlight has seven light, seven colors. Sunlight has seven colors. Seven colors? Yes. With gear colors. Ah, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. The path of the light. How does light travel? When the light travel? Okay. Have you ever seen the scene of light penetrating through the branches of the trees in a denser forest? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen the path of the sunlight entering through the hole of the cement grill or window of a building? Have you ever seen the path of the laser light? This is the example of this. See, Sunlight is coming through the tree branches. Mm -hmm. You see, straight these are all straight lines. Mm -hmm. yeah. Straight lines. You see, window light is coming through window. Mm -hmm. This is all straight line. Mm -hmm. It's straight rays. Mm -hmm. Similarly, for laser beam also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now you have an activity. This is a simple activity. You take three matches hmm? mm -hmm. and a pin. Candle and wooden boxes, wooden blocks, mm -hmm. wooden, wooden blocks bar? for keeping the mm -hmm. boxes straight. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, we will see the procedure. Arrange empty match boxes and wooden blocks as shown in figure. Okay, mm -hmm. 
first you make a hole in the inner tray of each match box such that all the three holes are in the mm -hmm. same spot okay you keep all the three boxes in straight in the inner box in the inner box. inner inner box you just in a tray mm -hmm. you have put a hole through using a pin mm -hmm. arrange the match box as shown in figure like this okay mm -hmm. now adjust the three inner lights in such a way that three holes are lined together keep a candle mm -hmm. on the other side and light it mm -hmm. try to see through one eye like this mm -hmm. okay so definitely you can see mm -hmm. the candle glowing isn't it mm -hmm. is the flame visible yes no. now try to move the mm -hmm. boxes mm -hmm. and try to see through that one whether you will see the flame mm -hmm. why mm -hmm. it is blocked Bug. it is blocked so light cannot travel uh, bending. bending it will travel only in, in straight, straight line. line that is the example okay light travels in straight line it, it cannot, cannot bend, bend the path itself this, this is called the rectilinear propagation of light what is rectilinear propagation of the light light travels mm. in straight line it cannot bend the path itself this is called this is called as the Rectilinear propagation, propagation of light. Propagation. This is one of the important property of light. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. You see, who identified this one? See, Al Hasan Haitham mm -hmm. was a scientific thinker who made important contribution to the understanding of the vision, mm -hmm. <coughs> optics and light. Mm -hmm. He observed that light comes through a tiny hole traveled in straight line. He only observed. Mm -hmm. Hmm? and projected an image onto an opposite wall. Based on such experimentation, he concluded that vision is accomplished by rays coming from mm. external luminous sources and entering into the eye. That is called rays. Mm. Okay. Number one next pin, pin hole pin camera. camera what do you mean by pin hole camera take a box put a small hole using a pin and observe and that, that is the thing okay put a hole and observe observe the, uh, observe the, the image. image that's all that's all pin hole camera is a simple device which helps us to understand about the rectilinear propagation of light okay which device is used for identifying rectilinear uh, propagation Pinhole oh, camera. Pinhole pin camera device is used to hmm. understand the rectilinear propagation of light. light. Okay. Nothing you see, there is a box, there is a tree, hmm. and this is a screen. This okay. Is, yeah. So when light goes through this pinhole, oh, hmm. definitely it will be inverted. inverted. That's all. Telegular. Yes. Telegular. See, the above picture shows the model of pinhole camera. Mm. O is a small hole mm. made by a pin. Mm. X, Y, see this is X and this is Y, mm. is an object mm. and X dash, Y dash, mm. X dash, Y, y dash, dash is the image of X, Y. This mm. is the image of X, Y. Mm. You see, as light travels in a straight line, one ray, one light ray from X travels along X, O. Isn't it? Light ray from X goes oh, through O and reaches yes. X dash. Yes. Since it is traveling straight line, mm. it is coming inverted. Mm. See, light cannot come here and cannot go here. Mm. It will go only in straight line. Mm. Similarly, mm. Y, mm. point ray Y goes through O mm. and reaches Y, y dash. Y dash, okay. Mm. You see? Activity 2. In a similar way, another light ray starts from Y and travels along YO strikes to mm. Y dash. Mm. Similarly, all the rays between X and Y falls on the screen between Y dash and yes, X dash. dash. Thus, Y dash X dash becomes the image of X and Y. Mm. The image produces is temporary. This is not permanent image. 
it is temporary. temporary. If the simple if the simple paper is used, the image can be made permanent if the paper is replaced with photographic paper, photographic plate. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Now we will see how to make a pinhole camera. camera. Two, Two rectangular pieces of thick paper, mm. carbon paper. paper and a semi transparent paper mm. and other say other view means gum, gum. okay mm. procedure make two tubes using thick paper as shown in figure mm. you have to make two tubes mm. one tube should be slightly smaller in diameter mm. so that it can slide into another tube without leaving much gap between the tubes okay mm. you keep one tube as slightly bigger so that another tip can go inside. Go inside yes. Okay. Slightly bigger so that it can go and come inside, right? Mm. Fix the carbon paper on one side mm. and mm. one side of the tube of greater diameter. Make the hole with the pin in the center of the carbon. You have to make a carbon. small hole in the carbon sheet. Carbon. Okay. So close two. one end of the second tube with butter paper. This one, you know, mm. just close this one with butter paper or semi transparent paper. This is called butter paper. This is butter paper. Butter paper. Okay. Mm. Then slide the smaller tube in the bigger tube. You slide this, uh, this tube into this carbon coated uh, tube. Okay. Mm. Now, Keep yeah. a lighted candle on a table and look through the hole. You keep a no. candle here and light it and see through see through it. Mm. What do you observe? You can see the candle upside down. Mm. You can see the candle okay. upside down in the butter paper. Because that is the concept, you know, yeah. pinhole camera. Yeah. Mm. Keep the light candle on the table and look through the hole with the black side towards the candle. If you go closer to the candle, you will see smaller but brighter image. You can also change the image size by adjusting the tube. See, use pinhole camera to see things in sunlight outside the window and see how good an image you get. What are your observations about them? Is it straight or inverted? It will definitely be mm. inverted. Mm. It will definitely be mm. inverted. Mm. Inverted, mm. no, no, there. Mm. Mm. Yes. Okay. Now you see this. What is reflection? What is reflection? Reflection, na, peradi balipu. Okay. Light or adathala vullanda, adhaar adathala varun liya. That is called reflection. Ya mirror reflects our face. Correct. Yeah. A still water body like a pond reflects the scenery around it. Correct? Yeah. Or a water body like pond, yeah. it will reflect the scenery around it. Yeah. When we see our face in the mirror, we can see light rays from our face bouncing off the surface of the mirror. Correct? Yeah. When you are seeing your face on the mirror, what is happening actually? Your light rays mm. goes to the mirror and in come back come so back. that you can see yourself in the mirror. Yeah. Yes. Okay, this is called a reflection, right? Take a plain mirror, plain means flat, flat. Nice, mirror. nice mirror. Cover it with black paper. Mm. Cut the small slit as shown in the figure. Mm. See, cut a small slit, cover mm. it with a paper and cut a small slit as shown in the Figure. Slit in an achina the sandama cut pano. Okay. Mm. If you shine uh, if you shine on the mirror from the torch light or light or sunlight, you will get a small ray of light, isn't it? Mm. You will get only that uh, cut slit area through one that only you will get a mm. light rays. Okay. Mm. We can use this to study the properties of light. Okay. Mm. Okay, before that we will finish, do you know? Eh? Mm. Before the advancement of the camera, mm. pinhole camera was used to photographic movement of the sun mm. over the long period of time. This type of photography is known as solography. Mm. 
and also be used by, for observing and recording solar okay. eclipses and it was also used to take photograph of stationary object stationary object na nilayana porulgal moving object kedaadu nilayana adu or porul abbe nikkidana adu abbe photo edukkaradhu maybe this is called pin hole camera, camera. adhukku per enna so solography right solography yeah. now we will see this one properties of light now place a blank white sheet on a level ground okay flat a irukra ground la you place a white paper choose a place where partly the sheet gets sunlight and partly it gets on its shadow hold the mirror with the slit facing the sun you can also see straight ray light of reflected from the Bit of the paper. Hold another mirror to reflect the ray. Observe it as well. So what you have to do? You keep a line like this or mirror like this. You try to send the rays like this from the sun. So what will happen? It will be reflected on this side. Suppose if you are keeping the line here, you will get the reflection like this. Okay. There is another imaginary line called D. Mm -hmm. This is called perpendicular to the plane line. Mm -hmm. That is called. Maybe. Mm -hmm. What is that line? Straight line. What is the perpendicular line? Perpendicular line. That is called normal. Normal. Correct. Yes. Ninety degrees normal. Okay, that we will see. That while the light falling on to suppose if this yeah. is the mirror. Yes. Yeah. A D C is the mirror. Yeah. The light falling on the mirror is called an incident ray. This incident. is called an incident, incident ray. ray. Okay, and the light reflected is called a reflected ray. Now you see, one D is incident ray. B four is reflected ray. Similarly, two B incident ray and B three. Reflected ray. ray. Okay, now you observe this one. This is important point. Is. is there any relationship between the incident ray and reflected ray? Is there any relation? Yes. yes. What is that relation? You know, lot of relations that can be identified using this uh, mm. image. Mm. Using this image also. In fact, suppose see this is sixty degrees mm. from normal. Mm. One need one B D is sixty degrees. If this is sixty, the reflected angle also sixty. That is D B four is also sixty. Similarly, you see observe this one two B D is thirty degrees. So what will be the D B three? That is also thirty degrees. So reflected incident angle and reflected angle both are same. same. Very good. That is the observation we are doing. Okay. Draw a straight line ABC and angles as shown in figure above. The line one is at sixty degree from BD, isn't it? From BD, this is sixty degrees. Hmm. Two is thirty degrees from BD. Now. The line four at sixty degrees from BD and line is three is thirty degrees from BD. The line D BD is perpendicular. Perpendicular means normal. Normal. Yes. Perpendicular to ABC line. Hmm. Hold the mirror along the line ABC. Use the mirror with the slit and make a ray at line one and observe it. That is what they want to do. Suppose. You hold the mirror along with the ABC mm. and try to send rays through one and two. Mm. What will happen if you send to one? It will definitely go to four. Mm. If you send through two, it will definitely go to three. 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 No, Now three. try keeping the mirror with the slit and uh, try to Make. use flat line two. Now mm. do you see the reflected ray go along with three? Yes. Right. Line BD, which is perpendicular to mirror surface, is called as normal. See, this is called normal. normal. The, the angle between incident ray and the line BD is called angle of incidence. The line, the angle between 
incident ray and perpendicular line is called angle of incident. Similarly, the angle between reflected ray and the normal is called what is that? Reflected, reflected angle. angle. Reflected angle. angle or angle of reflection. Both are same. Reflected angle or angle of reflection. Can you make our make some relationship between the angle of incident of ray and the angle of reflected ray? Yes. yes. It is not obvious that the is it not obvious that the angle of incident is same as the angle of reflection? Yes. See, this is the mirror. You know that rays are passing here. This is called the incident ray. Correct? Mm -hmm. This is incident ray. This is incident angle, angle, angle of incident and this is n, they put it as normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is reflected yeah, yeah. ray and this is angle of reflection. Mm -hmm. Both should will be same. Mm -hmm. Both will be same. same. See, in, what is incident ray? What is reflected ray? What is point of incident? And what is normal? First incident ray, the ray of light that falls on the surface of the reflection material, the light, the, li the ray of light which falls on the surface of the reflecting material is called incident ray. ray. In figure it is PO. PO. Correct? Mm -hmm. Right. Then reflected ray, the ray of light that reflects from the point when, point when the incident ray falls on, on the, the reflected, reflected material. material. Okay, mm -hmm. from the reflected material, some rays are rising, you know, mm -hmm. that is called a reflected ray. ray. Okay, here O, o and Q, Q. Is okay, a reflected, reflected ray. ray. Okay, then point of incidence means this one, this one. where no. the ray actually falls, that mm -hmm. is called a point of incident. Okay, the point of which or incident ray strikes the reflected surface, where it strikes, where it hits. It hits at O. Okay, yenga poi ad vildo. And the other one is point of incidence. Point of incidence. Okay, here O is point of incidence. Okay, then what is normal? Yet a line perpendicular to the reflecting surface. This is the reflecting surface. This is 90 degrees. That is called normal. Mm. From there only you can observe the angles. Correct? You see, the perpendicular line drawn from the point of incidence to the plane of reflecting surface is called normal. normal. In, In figure, o -N, o -N, o -N, o -N is the normal. normal. Okay? Then we have other two things, mm. angle of incidence and angle of reflection. Mm. Which one is angle of incidence? Angle between the incident ray incident and normal, normal. correct angle of angle between mm. uh, incident ray and, and normal, normal is called angle of incident mm. then what is reflection angle no. of reflection angle between, angle between reflected rays reflected ray and, and normal is called the angle of angle of reflection. reflection both will be same, same. angle i is equal to angle R. Uh, Correct? Yes. Angle incident equal to angle R. Uh, See what they have written. The you angle. See? This is the thing. Angle I equal to mm. angle R. Uh, See, they denoted like this. Okay. See, they, they put wrongly. This is R. Angle R. Correct? Mm. This is wrong. Correct? Angle the angle uh, between the incident mm. way PO and the normal O N is angle of is incidence. It incident. is denoted by angle I. Mm. Angle of reflection, the angle formed between the reflected ray O Q and the normal O N is, is called angle of reflection. Mm. It is denoted by angle R, not angle I. Mm. Correct? Mm. Okay. Next, we have law of reflection. You see, there are two laws. What are they? The angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection. Angle of incidence 
is always equal to angle of reflection. The incident ray, the reflected ray and normal at the point of incidence lie in the same plane. Same plane means one samadalatala. Inge? Samadalatala. Okay. You see? Point, reflection, I mean incident, incident reflection, reflection and normal will no. always fall on same plane. Plane na na samadalam. Correct? Where here it is O. Okay, wow. Next, we will see rough reflection example in the yeah. next class.